Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan r-rajeem, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasulu, Ulil Amri minkum. And a reminder always for myself and abdukul ajeezu da'eefu, miskeenu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And alhamdulillah that when we talk with people and meet with people and there's a run of people going towards spirituality and people arguing now on the dogma of religion and battling each other on titles and words and who's right, who's on truth and all of the fitna of last days Imagine it multiplying day by day, day by day because of the bad energies that are all around and people are running, running towards spirituality. And tariqahs have always been given that honour by Allah by Sayyidina Muhammad to teach from spirituality and spirituality is the world of light. It's the abode of immense love and immense goodness and that gift that flows from Allah through the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to those whom have been guided into that reality, they want to come and to reach to people with a common denominator, something that unifies people and brings them towards Allah's rahmah and mercy. And the simplified understanding of all the rules and the usuls and all of the practices, they bring the most simplest understanding but in reality it's from the highest levels of reality. Our life was to teach about the qudra and energy. And in our life are we improving our energy, our resonance? The quality of the sound in which we are vibrating from our core, our heart, our soul or are we bringing our vibration down? And that's the only thing that we are involved in. Our life's purpose is to bring the vibration of our being up and to vibrate at the highest resonance, the highest vibration, the sound in which our soul is emanating and our being is operating at and that that vibration if it goes higher and higher and higher it, it begins to explain all of these levels of the nafs, all of these different uh, Islamic terminologies. The vibration when it reaches the apex of where Allah wants the vibration of the soul in an angelic abode which is Allah's oceans of rahmah and love, Allah's immense oceans of love and rahmah. And if what we are doing is elevating our vibration that we feel this love growing within our heart, our practices are growing. We feel the vibration of the, the practice, not the dogma of the practice. You know if you, if you want to email, the, I'm supposed to do exactly like this, am I supposed to do exactly like that? You're, this is about an ocean of love and energy. The exactness is, is of, of not the issue. It's not me able to recite something to lift myself. But as I'm reciting and as I'm practicing these practices of love and trying to elevate my vibration, take their teachings and try to have good character and everything around me is trying to lower my vibration. If you turn on the radio as a song that's meant to lower your vibration, to bring your your thought process down to bring the level of which your heart is beating down and life becomes then the battle of trying to elevate my vibration and to have good character because with that good vibration comes good character. With good character all Allah multiplies the vibration and that's what we call the barakah and the blessings. That when we're vibrating at a, at a 
high resonance when we're elevated and, and purifying ourselves with our soul and with our character, Allah dresses the servants with immense blessings and then it multiplies even more that process. And the purpose of evilness and shaitan and dajjal and what everybody has something else in a different language they call it, is to bring the vibration down. So then we be able to understand that, am I going down or am I going up? And when someone wants to talk to me about their path and their practices and this and that, it's, it doesn't really matter. In the end let's just get to the summary, are you going up and vibrating at a higher level? And you feel that you're getting more in tuned with Divine love and mercy and, and, and compassion or you're vibrating at a lower level in which you begin to argue, find separation, differences, uh, expose bad character and everything then becomes about badness and bad character. And that's the simplest understanding of tariqahs, the simplest understanding of what Sayyidina Muhammad brought for us. The immensity of what has been given as a trust to us from a loving father that left us everything, left, left us every understanding of every type of difficulty that a day would come when we would understand the immensity of wudu where we took it for granted, oh I gotta wash again, oh I gotta wash again. And now the whole world trying to learn how to wash to keep a virus away. An unseen enemy that Allah had taught us all our, our Islamic life that of course there's unseen enemies, very negative energies, all sorts of beings around you. So all of the immensity of what Prophet has brought for us so that we improve and, and resonate at a higher understanding, then it makes sense that, okay I want to do my zikr, I want to do my practice, of course I have to meditate. Everything else in my life is, is, is its own meditation, my, my work is its a meditation, the TV is a meditation, your job is a meditation, everything is meditating you towards the dunya and the material world. And to break away from that and to say, oh no I'm going to try to connect with a higher source, with the heavenly reality and then feed my soul with good deeds and good actions and good characteristics. And this is, this is the, the nutshell of what we're trying to accomplish in our lives and in our practices and by attending these associations and these majlis and to have the good character in which we participate in the majlis, participate in the videos. We repeat that every day until we finish this process of da'wah in our lives. And that's the that's the, the benefit of our lives, this gives the beauty of our lives and, and the beauty of our path that we contribute in our way, we, we, we spread the word, we spread the good word and that we improve ourselves and resonate at a higher level and that that byproduct is the immense oceans of muhabbat and love that Allah dress upon the servants with good character and good actions inshaAllah. Are there any questions for tonight from the, the people who are joining us on online and we look at all of the comments and we review them and later on when people are watching in their own time zones and leaving comments and the video comments, all the replies to the comments are coming back from ourselves and from the people who are helping and we, we monitor everything. So alhamdulillah that Allah gave us that ability and responsibility so that everybody when they do participate they are noticed. and. Uh, uh, it's under their nazar and, and everything that is happening is under their nazar so that everybody can feel that they are participating and that they're noticed. Everyone is, is noticed so that uh, nobody goes unnoticed inshaAllah. Click the link now to subscribe.